On Broadway, Taylor Trench has played Barnaby in Hello Dolly and Christopher in The Curious Incident of the Dog in the Nighttime, as well as featured parts in the hits Wicked and Matilda. But now the uber-talented performer has made it to the star dressing room, taking over the role of trouble teen Evan Hansen in the Tony-winning musical Dear Evan Hansen. Here the always working star describe his own high school years, some of his most unforgettable wig work, and his favorite drag name on this week's Show People. Hello, Taylor. How Hi. are you? Hi, Paul. I'm well. How are you? Are you on top of the world? You're starring in like one of the biggest shows on Broadway. It's it's mighty cool. I, well, I'm sorry. Actually, Hello, Dolly is the other biggest show mm -hmm. on Broadway. So this is all you. Yeah, this, this is, is no big do. thing to me. Yeah, yeah. <sighs> no, it's it's <laughs> thrilling. You are Evan Hansen. Everyone knows Evan Hansen. This is like a Tony-winning show, a Tony-winning role. Uh, One hundred percent. Oh my gosh, yes. The way people feel about what. Ben did in ben this Platt, show. Mr. Ben, ben Platt, Platt, correct, yes. correct. Benjamin Schiff Platt is beautiful. There was like so much love and support, but it also made it like totally terrifying to step yeah. in. Oh, by the way, I saw the show last night. You are fantastic in the part. Thanks. I have Paul. to get that out of the way. Thanks. R really wonderful and totally different. Thanks. And so it's cool to see already so early in the life of a show how different actors can come in and really sort of shape it around themselves. Totally. And it's only like a testament to how beautiful the material is, I think, how good Stephen's book is that it like withstands any yeah. sort of cast change. Yeah, the thing that was weird about this is we knew you were doing this like last summer. Yeah. Like, like, like five months before you started, it was announced you were, that, that's kind of unusual. Yes, for sure. That seems like for an actor kind of strange too. Obviously we were very busy mm -hmm. as Barnaby Correct. in Hello Dolly, Correct. the big Broadway smash, the other Tony winning smash. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But I'm, I'm assuming you knew all your lines by the time you started. You would think. I didn't. I just like planned it. I was like, oh, I've got so much time. I'll learn them. And then like maybe like a week before performances started, I was like, I should really learn these. <laughs> um, no, yeah, I knew for so long. And then I knew even like several months before it was announced too. And yeah. I had to like just sit on it. It was so strange, but also so nice as an actor to like know that there's something down the, in the road, Job down the road in the future. Exactly. Yeah. I've Looking been, at your resume, it's pretty impressive. I've been very lucky. Yeah, what's the longest gap you've had without a job since you graduated from college? It's gross. Well, you I didn't graduate from college. I you didn't left graduate. Co I dropped out. <laughs> uh. um. <laughs> since, since you left college, uh -huh. what's the longest gap you had? Like two or three months. People hate you. It's very annoying and disgusting. Yeah, I'm sure a lot of your actor friends are like, oh, just, yeah. they just want to smack like, you. <laughs> Yeah. It's really annoying. Mm -hmm. You're really annoying to hang out around. Yeah, a hundred percent. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and just in many ways, not even in that sense. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. So it's been pretty regular. And this role, you didn't see it before. Why didn't you see it? Because you were busy. Yeah, I you was were on like stage. Lucky enough, always to be on stage. Exactly. Ugh, you don't ever see any shows. You never see. You could never see a show. Ah, uh, it's true. N not Dear Evan Hansen, at least. Every time they had a run, like arena stage, off Broadway and Broadway, I just never was able to go until Michael Greif asked me to audition, and then I sat down and wept for a hundred years. Were people telling to you, oh my God, Taylor, you've got to see this show. This is a great role for you. Yes. I, I mean, so many people just told me to see the show because it's magnificent. Yeah. And then the cast came to see Hello, Dolly, actually, and they were like, do you want to be in Dear Evan Hansen with us? And I... Is that how they choose the next stars? Mm -hmm. They, they leave yeah, it up to yeah. the cast. They just go around and Correct. decide. Correct. Yeah. Jennifer Laura Thompson just walks. She floats by her Glinda bubble to theaters <laughs> and like invites you into the fold. <laughs> I wish. Um, no, they were like so kindly like thought that I would be good in the role and so I came in and auditioned and, and got it. And as you mentioned, you knew Michael Grove. You, you did, played yeah. the, one of my favorite pivotal roles, Gordon and Others. It's true. In yeah, Rent. Yeah. It's really what the show is about, I think. People Gordon sort of get others. confused in the, you know, in the Mark <laughs> and the Roger, but it's, it's really about the waiter at the Life Cafe, <laughs> I find. Yeah, what's your favorite Gordon line? Um, I mean, I'm a New Yorker, fears my life. Right. Classic. Of course. That is a classic. Mm -hmm. That was in the Off-Broadway Red. So did Michael Greif, rem uh, did he remember you from that? He did, okay. yeah. And he came to see me in The Curious Incident on Broadway. Yeah. And I think there's like a little bit of overlap in the requirements, the territory of both of those roles. And I think maybe that... When I was watching you last night, I thought this is kind of the musical version of Curious Incident. Yeah. I mean, it, it is and it isn't. But there, yes, there are there certain are things some about it. Mm -hmm. But here's what's awesome. And, you, and so you covered for Alex Sharp yeah, during, during the original... Correct, yeah. The run. And you went yeah. on... Often, right? Yeah, I was like did two performances a week. Right, so you, you, you got to do it a lot. Yeah. But what's really cool, I was looking at your your extensive <laughs> resume for such a young Stop man. It. And this seems like the first time, correct me if I'm wrong, where you probably have your own awesome dressing room. Yes. Like now you're in the star 
dressing room at the music like there's box. There's an ensuite bathroom. It's legit. Are you making it your own? What, um, yeah, so what's I'm working the, what's, on it now. Let's talk about have, the dressing room. I will, okay, let's do. Um, what was what? Well, ugh, when Noah Galvin was there right before me, he had yeah. a, a like a pencil sketch of himself as a child laying on his stomach, like wow. looking coy, and I wanted so badly for him to leave it for me because that would have been like sort of the jumping off point. You would have just left that. Yeah, and probably nothing else. Like no furniture. We all would like sit on the ground. We all, it's just me. And so I'm, I'm pretty disappointed. So I'm, I'm at a loss right now what to do decorating wise because I was, I was really hoping that that would be the case. Um, so maybe now I'll do a pencil sketch of you <laughs> in, the, in a very similar pose. Um, so if you, if you have time to sit for me okay, later. Okay, I can send yeah. one over. Thank you. Can, oh, please. Oh, great. Yeah, yeah, I'll send one over. This is a very demanding role. Correct. Uh, we all know Ben Platt was on the, the verge of a nervous breakdown uh -huh. for the entire run. It was a big topic of conversation. Uh -huh. So how will you um, make that a good space for you to go out and do this amazing work? I picked a new paint color. It's called Sailcloth. I thought that sounded very <laughs> um, luxurious and... and um, and beautiful, and it is. It turned out it was very calming. Really opens the space. Okay. You gotta come. Really okay. um, brighten the room up. I don't know. Right now, there's a lot of um, peanut butter cups in the room. Oh. That's what I use to relax. I love peanut butter. Me too. I'm a, yeah. Oh, oh, you're you're huge. big. That's oh, good to know. Stop. Well, we stop. shouldn't have said that on camera because. Oh, no. Do you want people to send you? I'm okay. Thank oh. you. Though. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> You're also a vegan. I am. But I guess that doesn't get in the way of peanut butter cups. True. Yeah, what, yeah. what is the hardest thing about being a vegan? This is my favorite comedian, Julio Torres, always says this. But his, the thing he, the hardest thing about being a vegan is not being invited places. Yeah, and I'm sure you have to be around. You have to have other vegan friends. Is this like a requirement Correct. for like boyfriends and friends? Do you, are you um, looking for like because dinner is dinner difficult and dinner can be tough. Um, it's not a requirement. I'm open to all. Okay. Anyone out there, come on down. No, but it, it helps if they're open to it. Yeah. yeah. So this uh, Evan Hansen is a he's a he's a liar. Whoa. I mean this yeah, show. Yes, yes. I mean the 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 crux of this plot is mm -hmm. that he gets sort of he's forced into one lie after the next. Correct. It gets pretty deep. Are you a good liar? I hope so. I think so. I, mean, I hope so. Are I mean, yeah, probably right? good good liars, yeah. right? Yeah. Yeah, have you, had you had to lie to get in or out of situations? Um, I had to lie to get this part. I had to lie to, and no, I try not to lie. I think I did, as a child, I lied so much. I wanted my life to be so interesting. I would like tell kids I had a time machine. Really? Like I would lie about things like as simple as my birthday so I could have like the same birthday as a celebrity. Where would that time machine go? I can't tell you. Oh. Um, but I can tell you when the camera stopped rolling. Can you tell me, okay, great. Yeah, yeah. We're gonna have to do that in a minute yeah, then. Yeah. Can you tell me a lie before we turn off the cameras? Uh, can you tell me a lie about um, your Evan Hansen co-stars? They're all really nice. <laughs> Just kidding, they are. <laughs> all right, we're gonna take a quick break and we'll be right back with more Taylor Trench. Back with more Taylor Trench. People want more. Uh, We're gonna give them more. You actually are a Broadway.com star um, because of looks, not books. Oh that, my gosh, yeah, Leslie yeah. Margarita is the real star. Yeah, yeah, you were. I'm like recurring. You yeah. were in uh, Matilda. Mm -hmm. uh, what was the name of that kid? Michael. Michael, Michael Wormwood. Michael with fantastic wig work. Gorgeous wig work. Gorgeous. And I also has featured. I had an ensemble track who also had like a little orphan Annie sort of situation. Yeah which was also really beautiful and complimented my features in a really nice way, I think. Yeah, really good, yeah. Really, really good work there. And uh, your wig work in Hello Dolly was strong too. What's your favorite wig? That Hello Dolly wig really did bring me a lot of joy, especially in in tech. It was more of like a bob, like oh. it was very Renee Zellweger in Chicago. <laughs> and like Jerry Zachs would catch me in the wings and he was like, cut that boy's wig. <laughs> You were working it too yeah, much? Yeah, <laughs> it was like the star of the show. Um, so it got cut into like more of a, a Leonardo DiCaprio sort of look but um <laughs> i really did love that wig a whole lot <laughs> but in looks not books we saw how ridiculous you are backstage <laughs> which is really fun mm -hmm. is that still true or are you now are you now a mature adult um or, very or, yeah very serious actor are you ridiculous backstage at darvin hansen um there's not a lot of time off stage to be goofy that's true so i i don't know that i'm very fun here hello dolly i was certainly there was a day i don't know if i should be saying this but i'm going to anyway Go for it. there was a day when um former broadway.com show people with paul Wontora guest gavin creel and i oh, just Mr. sat creel. in the hallway in our floor on our backs with our butts facing each other and farted for probably like 30 minutes just <laughs> at each other and everyone was so <laughs> mad on our floor but just fun stuff like that just fun yeah <laughs> just cute 
charming. Uh, yeah. My favorite part of Hello Dolly, because I liked thinking about what was happening, was when you were in Harmonia Gardens mm -hmm. and, and, and you were in the private booth Correct. on stage with Gavin and Kate Baldwin and Beanie Feldstein. Mm -hmm. And you know, because you're at your table and the curtains keeps closing, mm -hmm. uh, and you stayed there. Mm -hmm. You didn't like run off to no. go to the. Did you ever have to run off during that? Could you run off if you had to? No, you had we to couldn't. David Hyde Pierce and Jennifer Samard were granted a secret like passageway in the back, and they could leave, but they didn't trust us you, to so like you, go You were away. sequestered. Yeah, like a they jury like, didn't want to have to wrangle us later, so they just left us <laughs> in the pod. <laughs> and I always wanted to have like a camera in there mm -hmm. to see what was happening. And what was happening? You were just card games. Really? Yeah, a card tournament. Like actual cards came out? Correct, yeah, yeah. Oh, wow. A full-on card tournament. Spades, do you play spades? Oh, uh-huh. Uh, Kate Baldwin and I were partners, and Beanie and Gavin were partners. They like crushed us every time, but Kate and I were very good sports. And how long was the longest sort of m time in there between bits? Oh gosh, I don't know. It was probably like a total of like 15 or 20 minutes. Yeah, like, it was a while. It's kind of crazy. Yeah. It's kind of crazy. So you were having fun back then? Oh my gosh, the most fun. I love those people wholeheartedly. And the mics got turned off. I hope so. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that's how it works. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So it's not like you had to be silent, but you had to no. kind of be silent. Correct. And was Kate Baldwin, I'm going to tell you something. Kate Baldwin does not have the ability to. She's noisy. Yeah. She's a noisy She's not girl. a good whisperer. She's, She's the greatest singer in the entire world. Those legit girls the are whisper. always, like, they're always <laughs> That breast support just, <laughs> <laughs> it carries those words right on out of the curtain. Were you ever spoken to about shenanigans in the booth? No. It was never a problem. Mm -mm. I think because of Kevin and Kate, because they were so well loved. <laughs> they like were That's formed the... like a forest field around Beanie and myself. Can we talk about um, Tampa? Can we like, can we take <gasps> sure. it back a little bit? Oh my gosh, okay. Can we talk about your childhood? Um, Sure. How was that? Great. <laughs> um, Tampa's like not, Tampa's fine. Um, I had very like supportive parents. I, and what I, did your parents do? Growing up, my mom was a preschool teacher and my dad is a scientist. Oh and wow. My mom has been a bit of a renaissance woman. She's had like several careers since then. And she now works for a, like a financial planning firm. Okay. But they were like very supportive. I started doing community theater when I was five. Right, I know you because you peed on stage at the Wizard of Oz. I did. I've heard, I peed I've heard my, this peed story before. Tights. It's a great, That's a great true. start to your Thank amazing you. yeah. career. Yeah, yeah. And, but I, but I read that you like w you were five and you wanted to go be you wanted to audition for it or be. I was reading a newspaper, which is like a very strange thing that for a five-year-old. That seems like an to odd behavior. Yeah, I, that's yeah, why yeah. I didn't really believe the story. I thought yeah, it was yeah. part of the. Flying I was like, thing. I imagine myself in a smoking jacket with a pipe. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I was reading the newspaper and I saw auditions for The Wizard of Oz and I had watched the movie a bunch of times and I was like, that sounds cool. I love that you were in that section too. Oh yeah, like, Just <laughs> like the classifieds, what was right, I doing? Not like at the, no, no, not no. Peanuts, not like no, the, no, no, not no. the oh, gosh, no. Right, no. no. Family circus at least, yeah, I would never be caught <laughs> reading the Peanuts. But I, I went and I sang, this land is your land, this land is my land and, and I got Nailed it. Nailed it. Got the role, yeah. Did you start doing a lot of theater? Oh yeah, like constantly. At school, and then I started going to like a performing arts elementary school, right. and a middle school, and a high school. I like couldn't be stopped. What are the roles they're still talking about? Oh my gosh, Jack and Into the Woods, right. and I just Ben Wright, the original Jack. Yes. On Broadway, came to the show last night. Oh my god. And my knees were so shaky when I met I him afterwards. Last night. Ben Wright was there. Ben Wright was Nobody there. Nobody told me. I'm sorry. <laughs> I should have. I didn't know you were there. I'm sorry. I would have told you. It's okay. Yeah. Giants in the Sky is not your audition song anymore, I no. assume. But no. I'm sure for a while that was a good one to sort of. It was pull a good out. one. Although they, they always say, like, don't sing Sondheim. They're like, you're a companist. Well, like, think it's a nightmare. Don't bring Sondheim. Oh, that, so that's I was, I never, they hate. I was too scared. I think so, yeah. That's like an actor's so, tip for young aspiring actors mm -hmm. don't sing Sondheim. Don't, don't sing Sondheim. Um, Does Sondheim know you can't sing Sondheim? Is he watching? <laughs> he always he watches all the time. Yeah, yeah, he's obsessed with me. <laughs> um, <laughs> <laughs> um, so no, I, I didn't ever use that as an audition song. I, I instead used like last five years, which is probably like equally difficult to play. Mm. I was looking through your social media stuff, which is uh -oh. great, by the way. Thanks. You're very, you're very entertaining. You wrote a very touching uh, tweet after the Pulse nightclub <gasps> shooting. Cause obviously, you're from Florida, mm -hmm. and you and you know the Orlando sort of gay scene. And you've and you've been out of the closet ever since. I, I mean, since since, since I you started got working here. professionally, yeah. it was never really a question. Mm -hmm. And you sort of talked about how horrible in that tweet, just how like the the bullying you did encounter, mm -hmm. and it sounded awful. Yeah. And so you're playing Evan Hansen. <laughs> Obviously, you know this is sort of you know what this kid is going through and what these mm -hmm. kids are going through. How hard was it for you to come out? And I think, you know, I, I've never really heard your coming out story from me. You've just always been gay. Right. So I think it'd be interesting for people to sort of hear what you sort of went through. It was certainly scary. I think for anyone, no matter how like taking care of you feel or how like open-minded your family and friends may be, it's just like a 
it's so scary. Yeah. And I went to performing arts high school and I thought that would make it easier. I was like, right. we all love arts, right? <laughs> um, but right. it was like, there were several times in the high school and someone like spit in my face. Um, I think also I went to, uh, because of what I love to do, because I love to do theater and musical theater, I think there were a lot of spaces where people just assumed that I was, which like made the process a little bit easier. Right. But yeah, it was, I was in high school and it ended up being like I was so embraced and loved by everyone around me. But it's like just saying it out loud when you've been like saying it to yourself for so long as will always be yeah. so nerve wracking. Yeah, and I'm sure now with doing this show, I'm sure you're getting kids at the stage door already and sort of it, it's, it's become uh, really the voice of so many of these young theater fans. Totally, like it's kind of like a safe haven yeah. to come and like sit in that theater and watch the show. Yeah, who was the first uh, gay person you met? I'm sure it was like someone at the community theater I was working with. Right, probably. And I just didn't know. We right. did actually, it was, I did um, a very illegal production of a, a Harry Potter, an unauthorized Harry Potter play. Oh. Um, <laughs> Harry Potter play, that's a good idea. Yeah, they should really, I mean, <laughs> um, I did play Ron Weasley. Um, oh. They didn't see me for the Broadway version. I don't know why, I've still <laughs> kind of heard about it. Um, but I, I think there, were, there was like a guy in that cast who played like a bunch of ancillary roles. Uh -huh. And I think talking to him one day, I realized that he was gay and what that meant. And I was like, oh, I think, I think that's me. Mm. You go like, yeah. oh, there, maybe there's a world out there. Yeah, 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 that man who's playing like Dumbledore in the portrait. It's just like me. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay, I wanna hear more about your past, but first we're gonna take a quick break. Okay. We'll be right back, more Taylor Trench. back with Taylor Trench, star of Dear Evan Hansen. Where did this knuckle sandwich thing start? This is your uh, online name. When did <laughs> that come up and? I, I don't know. Really? I think when I signed up for Instagram many moons ago, I didn't want to use my name because I was like, I'm gonna make a cool Instagram. Um, and I, I don't know, I just love that phrase. Like, I'm gonna give you a knuckle yeah. sandwich. Yeah, and your Instagrams, you don't say much. Mm -mm. There's one emoji mm -hmm, mm -hmm. as the caption for each image. Mm -hmm. Aren't you clever? So do you sometimes go, wow, I haven't used that emoji yet. What can I, what can I do to illustrate that emoji? Exactly, yes. Like, um, I'm really, I've, I'm constantly trying to use the woman in the red dress. Um, <laughs> Uh, and I haven't quite. You haven't done it, it yet? yet. No. That's like the classic. I know. Ugh, I just. So haven't. you're just waiting for the best moment. Yes. If you can help me, if you see someone, let me know. <laughs> Speaking of women, uh, glamorous, fabulous women. Let's talk about your Halloween costume. Okay. <laughs> okay. You went to Bette Midler's very famous Halloween. 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 I'm sure you're excited. That, like, oh this my year gosh. You were on the list. The coolest. Yeah. yeah. You're like once you're in with Bette Midler, you're like. Your VIP. Oh, yeah. And you decided to dress as what? Carmen Miranda. Carmen Miranda. Mm -hmm. And you looked fabulous. Hey, thanks. So it made me wonder about your um, your drag history. I know you played like Frankenfurter, right? I did in Summerstock. An, 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 yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. an early when triumph. Yeah, yeah. When I was like 19, just a prime age to be playing Frankenfurter. Early triumph. I like um, that. I had never, besides that, I'd never done drag before. I mean, big fan of RuPaul's Drag Race. So Are you? I was going to ask oh my that gosh. too. Yes. Yeah, so you're all up in it. Oh my gosh, All Stars 3, boom. I wonder, like, Knuckle Sandwich, would, did you think of like a cool drag name? I always thought maybe it would be anaphylactic because I have a lot of allergies. Um, but I sort of, I learned once that there's a drag queen named Karen from finance. And I think like you just simply can't top that. And so I've given up trying to find a good name. I think we might have a Karen from finance here. <laughs> In the building? I feel like we might. I'm going to go I'd and love say to meet hi her. to her after yeah. this. You've said many times, people always ask you what's your dream role, so I'm not going to ask now because okay. I know your dream role because it's in every interview I've read with you. You really want to play Prior Walter in Angels in America, which yeah. is fantastic. Andrew and you're still Garfield. Time. You're Gosh, still have time. Get out of here. That's time. true. Yeah, There's yeah. still time. But you also want to play Sally Bowles. Yes. In Cabaret. Mm -hmm. Why Sally Bowles and what's your vision for that? I'll tell you right now. Um, <laughs> I've loved Cabaret for like my whole life uh -huh. so much. One of the first musicals I really loved. I have a dream to do a production of um, Cabaret in the style of like Little Foxes, where the MC and Sally Bowles alternate. Ooh. It could be, for instance, Kristen Milioti. Oh, and yeah. we would it would begin the show would begin we'd be standing side by side on stage and the famous like drum roll at the top of the show would start and a spotlight would land on whoever was playing the MC that night and we wouldn't know and the show would just begin and everyone would like. I love that. Yeah. Hey, thanks. Yeah, I'm into that. Right? Wow. And uh, would you like the pressure of that not knowing until? 100%, the, yeah. That it would be, be so annoying because there'd be different keys for every song, like depending <laughs> on who was on, but. So have you pitched there. this to Kristen Milioti? Not directly, but 
<laughs> It'll get there. <laughs> <laughs> but that is your dream. That's your dream MC. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. yeah. Uh, or your dream. She'd be good in some of those salary. parts. She'd be good in any part. Yeah. Um, you also, which I find very amusing, you always, always say you want to start in an Annie Baker play. Yes. Which is not a dream that people, I mean, you know, I mean, she's sure, sure, sure. amazing playwright. Uh, the, Have the you best. met her? I've never met her, but I've seen, I think, every single play that she's had produced in New York City. Is the goal to get Annie Baker in the audience of, like, I know Ben Platt only uh, talked about was Beyonce. Beyonce. Uh -huh. Right, and that happened. Yeah, Annie so Baker is my is Beyonce, that what we're, I guess. Is Annie Baker sort of what we're going to secret? I hope so, yeah. That'd be very cool. What is your... Um, age range. I've been a high schooler for the last like 10 years. Yeah, you've been stuck in high school. Yeah, I'm trying to be Celia Keenan Bolger. Fingers <laughs> crossed. Um, well, in Matilda, I guess I technically played like 10 wow. at one point. Right, so if um, you just played 10, that wasn't that long yeah, ago. Yeah, I think the oldest I've played is, is Bach in Wicked, who was like in college. That's funny that Bach, yeah, Bach is I the know. oldest. I think so. Everyone else <laughs> has been like 16. Spring Awakening, Curious Incident, Bear, this, everyone's a teenager. I can actually picture you um, a, as an adult man. You're, I mean, Thanks. like I can picture you as like, like a dad. Like I, I, <laughs> could, I could, I could picture right that. now. Or you mean like in the future? You know, like you see some people who play young roles, and then you kind of go like, oh, they are gonna look like a okay. like mm -hmm. a child mm -hmm. forever. For but life. I don't, I don't. Wh so where do you see yourself like at fifty? Um, Any Baker plays? Or yes. Like what? <laughs> yes. Um, hopefully, I don't know. I I um, sure do love like Reed, Bernie, and Jeremy Shamos. I would love to be like. You want to be one of those guys. Doing that sort of, I just, like the quality and, and um, the like p collaborators they have worked with is like what I'd love to be doing. Yeah, I mean they have like amazing theater careers. Yes. And do you want to like venture into like film and TV and? Um, sure, if someone will let me. Um, I love theater, theater is what I love to do most. So I hope to always be doing that. But it would certainly be cool to uh -huh. make a movie. Have you um, dreamt what that might be? Or like, what, what, what are your pop culture obsessions besides Drag Harry Race, Styles. which is obvious. Yeah. Oh, Harry Styles. Harry Styles. <laughs> that, that's funny. In I a hear. huge way. What else do I love? Like, snacks. <laughs> uh, oh. Yeah, I think that could be good. That could be a really thrilling film, I think, like an indie movie where I just eat snacks. Snacks. For like 90 minutes. Right, peanut butter. Yeah. Okay. It could be very like Marie Antoinette. Like, there is little to no dialogue, and it's just a lot of like food, <laughs> and I'm eating it in like pretty costumes. Wow. Maybe a Marie Antoinette reboot starring me as Marie. So I, I love the ideas just come out like mm -hmm. just while we Lesson. sit here. Making magic. That's another one. Yeah. Now, every interview they can ask you yeah. what, what, what reboot would you want to do? You can say Marie, Marie Antoinette. Antoinette. Yeah. yeah. It only makes sense. Yeah, with snacks. By the way, you're with the entire original cast right yes. now. I mean, not, I'm sure you know people are, are going to start leaving, but that's, that's pretty cool that you it's got to sort a, yeah. of go in with, with them. That was like the number one um, most exciting thing about joining the show. I mean, I like love it so much, but those the people on that stage are some of my favorite actors of all time and have been like Jennifer Laura Thompson, Rachel Bay Jones, everybody I love so much and it's so exciting and uh, like a real privilege to be on stage with them. That's so big, so small. Get out of here. Man, that scene, that Rachel Bay uh, Jones. She's good. Turns that, out she's good. That must be like something that's exciting to do every night and like really uh, emotionally like that's like the moment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it get, gets like, wet up there. Like moments like that are so special on Broadway. Yes, to you just know. be sitting on a couch staring into Rachel Bay Jones' eyes. It's, I never thought that would happen. Look at that. Dreams uh, come true. It's true. Dreams come true. Uh, thank you so much for coming. We're thank out you. of time. Uh, I'll have to have you back because I could talk to you for a long time. I love your sweater, by the way. Thank you. I and love, I love your how suit. it compliments the, um, the set. So thank you for thinking. Thank, thank you for you. thinking about complimentary colors. I shouldn't put my feet on the chair. I'm why sorry. did you just sit like that the whole time? I should have. Start over. Cut. Thank you, Taylor. Thanks, Everyone, Paul. go check out <laughs> Dear Evan Hansen at the beautiful Music Box Theater. Thank you for watching. See you next time.